day today. So do you think we should, where do you want to go? Ah, do you want to go to Miss Huger and her, uh, she likes the drinks, they say. Well, wait, I want to stay on the RHOBH oh, island for one more minute okay. because Anne Marie in the past weeks, we know Anne Marie is not, has not been asked to return to RHB, RHOBH. Uh, yes. I have a source. Okay. Now that I live okay. here in Los Angeles. You do, you got that, sources. I don't know. This isn't really scoop. I feel like you aren't this, but me. Kathy is coming back. Kathy is coming back in a in a role. Okay, full and time. This, no, this person did not say full time, but this Friend, person said you saw friend. her at the reunion for a reason. Did I say that like two weeks ago? Did, did, yeah, you was did. Your and this on? person confirmed it. Maybe they listened to us, but this person says it's true. Okay. I like a confirmed source. Thank you. This person says it's true. And then what you're also right about, and I believe that the Daily Mail picked up your quote from when we went to Homeless Not Toothless this time last year. Anne Marie Wiley, is she not coming back because she is a conservative Trump supporter and she does not believe transgender uh, individuals should be in, in sports with the sex that they identify with y'all know where i'm going with it you know come on we all know the transgender argument so anyway <sighs> i want to know what you think of this because you are in a top you are a top not notch producer yourself do you think supposedly behind the scenes the girls raised a fit crystal garcelle they were anti i'm sure the certain they were anti Anne marie wally being conservative, being a, a, apparently she's an enthusiastic Trump supporter. These people do realize, right, that half of the country loves Donald Trump. Like they do, re Bravo realizes that's half their audience, right? I, well, this is the, you got a lot in there. I, I got to break this down. Um, well, first of all, I'm not sure that Bravo realizes that. No, I'm not. Um, I realize it. I realize it that it's half their audience. Listen, I have this woman I call a good friend. Really, she hates me half the time. Uh, Miss Dodd, Miss Dodsta, Kelly Dodd. And uh, she tells me to go fuck myself a bunch of times. By the way, I have someone come, I have some people coming up from the OC and hate to break it to Kelly. They talk about her. She'll slip into my DMs, tell me she hates my boys. Tell me I'm gay, I'm disgusting. Tell me that I suck, that she's more famous than me. All right, Kelly, save, save. We all know how it's going to play out. But um, she swears that she was fired too for uh, being a conservative. So look, we said this, roll tape and dig up the archives. We have had shows about this a year ago. We went to Homeless Not Toothless. Crystal came up to me and she was huffing and puffing and saying, I, I can't get into it. I'm right. When I'm right, I'm right. You know, and this other person is wrong and blah, blah, blah. And that was right after the thing surfaced about Anne Marie and her belief on, you know, trans athletes and her husband's belief. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is what she's talking about. You and I talked about it on this thing. And I'm like, I bet you this is all going to be edited out. So I hate to say it. Told you so. Uh, that's the rumor that this did come up. And that was what the real fight was about homeless, not toothless. And you and I were right there and Crystal was huffing and puffing at me. And uh, we didn't see that. We just heard her call her a bitch and esophagus and this and that. And, you know, I'm not saying the esophagus was made up. I just, I do think this was also something. And, you know, I, I believe that after, and this is what, right. So either they listened to an old episode of ours, and this is completely taken from that, which would not be the first time it's happened before. It's kind of word for word what we said, or this is true, but she isn't coming back. And, um, I'm not sure Bravo realizes the country is very divided. And uh, we have a great uh, ex-housewife of New Jersey, Siggy Flicker. Go on her uh, Instagram. Lots of people are cheering her on with her political beliefs over there. So that's it. Listen, I I feel Anne Marie, to me, is just like Diana Jenkins. I don't, unpopular opinion, I don't feel either of them got a fair chance. And I think they both could have made a great Law, at least second season housewife. I don't think that either would deserve to be. I think Emory did the job. I think she did the job. I think she did the job description. She should so have had a wait, do you okay? So why do you think then Anne Marie was toast? Do you really then why was the real reason? Do you think the real reason was that she clashed with the women politically and then that was it? No, I still don't believe. I don't think Kelly Dodd was fired for that reason. I think that. I mean, Teresa Giudice, 
is conservative and she ain't getting fired. Ramona Singer is extremely conservative. She didn't get fired until we realized she was racist. I mean, there's lots of Trump supporters at Bravo that we're not firing. I think that, look, I think it was a boring season for the audience. And unfortunately, when we go down the list of who we could eliminate, she is the person that we could eliminate and we are bringing Kathy back to replace her. I think nobody else is going. That's my prediction. If someone asks me right now what I think, I think we're doing nothing except bringing Kathy in and letting Anne-Marie go. And think about the announcement that Kathy wow. Hilton is back as a friend. I said it. I agree. Nothing happens in these shows, coincidentally. Nothing. They show someone glancing out of the corner of their eye at someone hot. and We forget about it. In two years when we have it, they're going to flash back to that. So when Kathy appeared on that stage, I'm like, oh, they're bringing her back. They're bringing her back. I said it. You confirmed with your source. And I think getting rid of Anne Marie and bringing Kathy back, although not everyone likes Kathy, I think it's an enough of a huge announcement for the franchise that it'll be marketed that way, that that's more exciting than Anne Marie. And I think it's enough. And I don't think anyone else is. Crystal's not losing her job. Dorit. I, I don't I can't believe I'm saying this. She's still interesting to watch, but she's not losing her job, especially now. She's going to go at it with Kyle. And guess what? If Sutton and Kathy are off filming a video about how great of friends they are, yeah, maybe Kathy's going to be with Kyle against Dorit instead. Maybe Dorit's going to be her scapegoat. You know, Tamara was brought back and they said, the rat that scurries, let's wind this bitch up. Right. I think they're telling Kathy, like, come on back and be yourself. But you know, I'm telling you, we're not seeing Kathy versus Kyle. We're going to see a unified Kathy and Kyle. And everyone, I mean, and I think they're really bringing Kathy back. To be honest with you, I mean, she's Kathy Hilton. They're thrilled to have her. I think they're bringing her back to save Kyle. The same way we give Tom Sandoval a, an easy edit. Like, we're not, we're not getting rid of Kyle. You can hate her, but we're not getting rid of her. So now, after giving us nothing and telling us to fuck off and it's none of our business, we got to do the Erica Jane treatment of Kyle. We got to get some people back in favor with, you know, the number one seat on the, on the calling sheet. And I think a unified Kathy and Kyle will help certain people like Kyle again. Because of Kathy. And we've never seen the two sisters or Kim. And we haven't really seen Ka Kyle unified with either one of her sisters, really. You stole my goddamn house. I mean, that was season one. So I think this is going to give Kyle, you know, she's going to flex that chest. She's going to be backed by Kathy. And I think so, we're going to give her a good edit and some of this audience will come around. I think that's the real reason we're bringing Kathy back. But I think she also Kathy. I think everyone else stays. So thank you for confirming. That's what I think. Ah, oh, that was long-winded. Loved it. God. All right. We have a lot of, we have exits. And yeah. uh, I I want to know what you think of Mikey from Shaw's of Sunset being uh, sued by Paulina Ooh. and uh, the images coming out of the physical abuse. She is documenting the very first time he laid hands on her. And I got to say, that guy looks like a real asshole. And he looks like he's on roids. And uh, 